So I want to thank everyone for jumping on this call with us today. The reason for the webinar is to provide you with a little more insight as to what divorce mortgage planning involves, but also more information on the CDLP certification. As you can imagine, it's a little difficult to include everything on a website, let alone in a webinar, but I'll do my very best to hopefully answer a lot of your questions. First, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Jody Bruns, president and founder of the Divorce Lending Association and the CDLP certification. I have been in financing mortgage lending for 30 plus years, and a large majority of that time has been working as a divorce mortgage planner. I actually learned, you know, through my own divorce years ago, there was a need for an educated approach to this market. And it was when I was working back in the Chicago market that a group of attorneys I was working with commented on my approach and how they appreciated the educational approach that I was taking. And they're actually the ones that suggested I put together a national program because they realized there was a need. So that's how all of this began over eight years ago. Just to get this out in the open, I am not an advocate for divorce. Been there, done that, and it's not a good thing. I am, however, an advocate for providing a higher level of service to divorcing homeowners, as well as to the professional and divorce team. All right, let's go, as I promise to be very respectful of your time. The Divorce Lending Association is a national organization committed to educating mortgage professionals who have a strong desire to advance their careers in the divorce market. Our mission is to raise the standard of excellence for mortgage professionals who are committed to a higher level of education and service when working with divorcing homeowners. As a certified divorce lending professional, you will be in a position to offer a different perspective to the entire divorce case, a much different perspective than other mortgage professionals, which then allows you to offer a better solution to the divorcing homeowners as well as to the professional divorce team. I wanted to start by sharing some information with you about the divorce industry itself. Although many refer to it as a niche, the divorce market is actually much more than just a niche. It truly is an actual market segment you could build your entire practice around. It's estimated to be just over a $12 billion industry in 2022. That's an uptick from 2021. In 2021, there were over 62,000 family law businesses. Now that's not attorneys, but actual law practices. So obviously the number of family law attorneys is much larger than that. The number of family law businesses is estimated to grow by one and a half percent in 2022. Now divorce rates lag by two years. However, the last report was 2.7 per 1,000 population as of 2020 statistics by the CDC. Now this graph shows the future prediction of the divorce rate in the United States. An average increase to 4.05 per 1,000 population. That's an increase of one and a quarter divorces per 1,000 population over the next few years. The average marriage rate is 6.1 per 1,000 total population. So you can see why they say that the average divorce rate is almost 50%. Now these numbers only include 45 reporting states, including Washington, DC. And one more statistic I wanna share. According to the Financial Divorce Association, 70% of all divorces in the United States involve real property. What that means is in 2020, there were 522,882 divorces with real property and over 1 million divorcing homeowners who could have used the help of a professional divorce mortgage planner. So I need to ask, why your interest in the divorce market? I've heard every reason under the sun. I wanna have referrals to give back to my real estate partners. I don't wanna rely on real estate partners anymore. I need to keep my business up where it's been for the past couple of years. 
you know, I've thought about it in the past, and now with rates going up, I thought I'd look into it again. If your answer to this question is anywhere near these examples, the divorce market may not be your answer. And I am not afraid to say that because the divorce market is not something to toy with. These are people who are going through a major hard time. These are people who are going through a major hard time. There are assets, estate planning, support income, situations that affect children as well as the divorcing couple's lives. It is not something to just pad your pipeline with. Building a successful divorce mortgage planning practice can be a long-term solution to building and maintaining a very steady referral source for a very specific market. So while the divorce market can be a game changer, I really want you to think long and hard as to why you have an interest working with divorcing homeowners. There are attorneys, financial advisors, mediators, and other divorce professionals. The divorce market is not that shiny new object. You can cause more harm than good by just dabbling until another something new comes around. Being successful with divorce mortgage planning means you have to have a strong background knowledge of divorce and how it affects the various pieces of the divorce puzzle. This background knowledge includes understanding certain aspects of family law, financial and tax planning, as well as foundational knowledge of alternative dispute resolution, managing high conflict personalities, and you even might be asked to testify in court as an expert witness. Now, I'm not trying to persuade you to not build a practice working with divorcing homeowners. I'm trying to make sure you realize it's much bigger than just understanding mortgage guidelines and trying to make a loan work once the divorce is final. I speak with a lot of mortgage and real estate professionals who believe working with divorcing clients is no different than traditional clients. Okay, well, let's agree that the actual process may be the same. And what do I mean by that? I mean that the actual process of buying or selling a home is in fact the same. A contract is submitted and accepted. There's the due diligence process of inspections, financing, etc., and then closing day. It's the same with the mortgage process. An application is taken, docs are provided, processing, underwriting, you know, all the fun stuff, and then funding day. So yes, in that aspect, the actual process is the same, but it's the gray areas outside of the normal processes that may come back to bite you and hurt the divorcing homeowners. This same concept applies to whatever your focus practice area is, whether it's working with seniors, first time home buyers, and yes, divorce. In all areas of our professions, we have to have that expanded knowledge that not only raises the level of service we provide to our clients, but also it's that expanded knowledge that can help too. So let me give you an example of what this gray area actually looks like. Here you go. This is just one example of how complicated and involved the process can be when there is real property and mortgage planning involved in a divorce. And this example only takes into consideration a fraction of possible overlaps, yet really amplifies the need for a very knowledgeable and strong professional divorce team. There may be capital gains involved, especially in today's real estate market. Support income directly affects mortgage planning. There may be the need to look at protecting the mortgage interest deduction, depending on who's paying the mortgage. Property disposition. It's not as simple as who gets the house and who moves out. Are we looking at an equity buyout? And if so, how can we put the divorcing borrowers in the best position to get the best options or making sure the verbiage in the settlement agreement helps to position both spouses to purchase? When the home is involved, 
you need the background knowledge to really support the divorce team and the divorcing couple. Since I brought up the why question and talked about why you shouldn't consider building a divorce mortgage planning practice for the wrong reasons, I'd like to share with you three top reasons why it is a great idea for the right professional. Stability and consistency. With mortgage rates on the rise and housing inventory slim to none in many markets, helping divorcing homeowners is a market segment that, while everyone fiscally responsible anyway is concerned about rate and payment, these homeowners not only need your help, but they may not have a choice to either refinance the marital home or sell and buy a new property. We've already discussed divorce statistics, so you see the numbers and the opportunities out there to create stability and consistency for your business. Who else can't stand to be called a vendor or treated as a commodity? Without going down a dark rabbit hole, let me just say that working with divorce professionals, whether the attorney, financial advisor, mediator, or other professional, when you become a valuable member of the divorce team, you are treated with a great deal of respect. You're not part of the housing sector. The house is not your product. You are part of the financial sector and your product is mortgage financing. The loyalty, the respect you are given is amazing in this market. And this is the big one in my opinion. The personal satisfaction of helping someone who's going through a horrible life event Helping them put the pieces together and move forward with certainty and security regarding their home. This should be the biggest why for every certified divorce lending professional. Helping divorcing homeowners make more informed decisions regarding their home equity solutions. Now there are many more reasons, but these in my opinion are the biggest. You may have to unlearn some of your traditional habits. Divorcing homeowners are going to be referred to you for your technical expertise, not just to refinance or purchase a home. The attorneys and other divorce professionals are going to need your technical expertise during the settlement process, not after the divorce is final. The business building aspect of a divorce mortgage planning practice, it's different too. Your approach to being successful as a divorce mortgage planner is knowledge and having the ability to share and apply this knowledge to a stressful and fluid situation. So you have to be able to think on your feet and definitely outside of the box and sometimes out of your comfort zone as well. I challenge each one of you to ask yourself the question, are you referable? What actually makes someone referable? This question isn't easy to honestly answer so even after we're done today, give that question some deep thought. What's it take to be referable? You aren't referable because you have great customer service, great products and competitive rates, because that's expected. Being referable starts with trust. Trust is not a nice to have, it's a must have. There are actually four levels of trust. Now, why am I sharing this? Because I really want you to understand there's a process to developing a long-term relationship with attorneys and divorce professionals. It's not just a given, regardless of your background and training, that you will become a trusted advisor right out of the box. You have to be a master at your product, obviously understanding the mortgage product. As the product expert at level one, you have to be able to provide expertise with your answers as they apply to divorcing situations. The second level of trust is the business professional. Now I'm not talking polo shirts and khakis. I'm talking about understanding your partner's business, having a thorough understanding of the divorce process as well as the divorce industry. What are the five types of divorces? What are the five phases of the divorce process? How does the CDLP help during the mediation process? When you reach level three, you become the valuable resource. And this is when the divorce professionals start reaching out to you with questions, scenarios, asking for help, 
they now understand that you have a different perspective of the divorce case that other mortgage professionals don't. And finally, to become that true trusted advisor, you have to have created trust. They don't trust you because of your expertise in mortgages or your ability to offer help. They trust you because of the human connection that you develop with them. That trust comes from, yes, all the other levels, but it comes from sharing your knowledge, providing additional value, as well as nurturing the relationship. Our program is the only program that provides the complete and extensive training you need to really provide value to the divorce team. As you can imagine, many loan officers think working with an occasional divorce client after the divorce is final is what we do. There's a big difference between divorce mortgage planning and taking a loan application when you then have to deal with the cards that are dealt. We get involved during the process, not after the fact. As a CDLP, you not only have an enormous amount of background knowledge and training, you have a different perspective than other mortgage professionals who only offer mortgage financing options. We get involved during the process, not after the fact. How can you as a CDLP help during the settlement process instead of being an after the divorce's final referral? The objective is to be involved again during the settlement process, providing support, options, and solutions. Maybe one spouse is receiving, say, a lump sum payment of $500,000 in lieu of monthly support. Awesome. You have a great, nice, fat bank account, but no monthly income. So what are your options? Again, working with the divorce team, what are your options to use financial and tax planning to create income streams? I'll give you another example. We have a CDLP in the Chicago market who was reviewing a proposed settlement just last week. She mentioned to the attorney that she didn't see where they were addressing how title was to be held on the marital home once the divorce was final and during that time frame until the wife could refinance the home. The attorney said it shouldn't matter because title will be changed when the refinance happens. Our CDLP followed up with how tenancy by the entirety which is a way married couples can hold title in 26 states, how tenancy in the entirety automatically defaults to tenancy in common with no right of survivorship once the decree is issued. The divorce attorney didn't know that and mentioned how many of her cases she let that slip through. The CDLP immediately then becomes that expert in the attorney's eyes. And in case you're wondering why this is something that shouldn't be overlooked, what would happen if, say, one spouse remarries and leaves their entire new estate to their new spouse and then something happens and the former spouse dies? The other former spouse could now actually own the marital home with the new spouse. But there are a lot of other concerns this issue presents that we don't have time to dig into right now. Okay, so what is divorce mortgage planning? Divorce mortgage planning is a holistic approach to evaluating mortgage options and financial objectives in divorcing situations. Our job is to help integrate the mortgage into the overall financial goals of the divorce. 75% of the time, you're brought in to salvage the marital home. The other 25% is setting up both spouses to either purchase new homes right away or at least in the near future. And a lot of times it's both. You're salvaging the marital home for one spouse while setting the vacating spouse up to purchase. The verbiage in the settlement agreement can make or break one or the other and sometimes both. Again, our mission is to help divorcing homeowners make more informed decisions regarding their home equity solutions. And let me be very, very clear. The CDLP is there to support the legal and financial team. You never give legal or tax advice. Obviously, the divorce mortgage market is a niche, although it's actually much larger than a niche and we consider it a focused practice area, as do attorneys and other divorce professionals. 
The secret is to realize that niche marketing is not about domination. It's about positioning yourself as the subject matter expert within your market. The biggest mistake you can make is to assume you have to mass market to every attorney, financial planner, or other divorce professional just to build your audience. What you need to understand is that you use your knowledge to leverage your position within the market. The great thing about niche marketing is that you are marketing to a very specific and controlled audience. Everyone who you are marketing to needs your specialty. The clients need your specialty. That's why when you can become the known subject matter expert in your market, your business is more successful because your referrals are motivated referrals. Your strategic partners know how to introduce you. You're not Jody Bruns, my preferred lender. You're Jody Bruns, the divorce mortgage expert that I refer all my divorcing clients to. Can you see the difference there? Niche marketing narrows your focus onto a group of referral partners and clients that actually need your services now, not later when they decide to act. It's basically a matter of simplifying your actions to multiply your results. So let me wrap up by giving you a little more insight into our CDLP certification program. The Certified Divorce Lending Professional course is a divorce mortgage training program that's designed to prepare you to become an integral member of the professional divorce team. How to identify the appropriate mortgage financing and real estate strategies for your divorcing clients while recognizing the potential hurdles or opportunities with regards to potential tax or legal concerns as they pertain to real property and divorce. We have our program broken down into three steps, which set you up for a successful divorce mortgage practice, education, business development, and business management and marketing. The CDLP certification program is very thorough. It consists of five different training modules. Divorce Principles, which gives you that foundational knowledge we talked about, the divorce process, high conflict personalities and their risk to you. Alternative Dispute Resolution, which is your collaborative and your mediated divorces. Setting the stage as an expert witness, the value of being the financial neutral and much more. The Family Law and Real Property module really opens your eyes as to how intersected family law and mortgage planning really are when real property is on the marital balance sheet. What are the three steps to equitable distribution? Is it separate or marital property? And do you have the court's approval to refinance or purchase property? Is the divorce appraisal a defensible report or what options can you provide to make sure the valuation everyone's working with will stand up to a challenge in court? Understand what the default effect of title vesting is when effectuating the divorce decree, as well as to how to help clear clouded title. The financial and tax planning and divorce module. Let's go back to that example I used earlier of one spouse being awarded a lump sum in lieu of support. How can you work with the financial and divorce team to improve income streams and cash flow? And this goes way beyond having an asset depletion program in your program book. How can you help salvage the mortgage interest deduction if the spouse paying alimony is also paying the current mortgage? Is there really a difference between alimony, maintenance, and spousal support? What's the impact of divorce on capital gains? We have the real property and divorce module. This really focuses on how to avoid some legal landmines. Knowing if a property you're refinancing is under a temporary restraining order, or if your loan or even the sale of the property is going to be an illegal transaction. Yeah, you heard me right. This module also focuses on the implications and strategies for the real estate professional who might be working with both divorcing sellers and buyers. The last module is mortgage planning and divorce. Now, I assume everyone knows how to read underwriting guidelines, but if I haven't mentioned yet, there's a lot more to this than reading guidelines, let me assure you. This module really opens a lot of eyes. 
Some of the questions you ask a divorcing homeowner can actually violate ECOA. There's a ton of background knowledge to be learned in helping divorcing veterans. Did you know that 80% of combat veterans divorce? And that the Department of Defense has specific acts on how veterans' disposable retired pay can even be divided in divorce? You have to be the all-around solution, not just a mortgage professional who tries to fit the requirements of a divorce settlement agreement into a loan program. And yes, with all good programs, there is an exam. As part of your certification and registration, you have access to a six-step CDLP business development coaching program. You can start this program immediately after completing the certification program and exam. Our business development program is focused on getting you past the gatekeepers and in front of the divorce professionals. Cold calling doesn't work. You have to create awareness first. You also have to understand that business development takes execution and sometimes a systematic way of getting some meaningful face time with your target. We have a proven and structured process that we seem to have mastered. From identifying your numbers, profiling, not stalking, the right strategic partners, to creating the awareness with a follow-up process to getting the meeting and then actually managing the meeting with our CDLP professional referral method. Remember one of the very first questions I asked? Are you referable? And obviously there is a nurture process to cultivating the relationship that you just developed into that trusted advisor status. And last but not least is step number three, the CDLP business management and marketing system. This is optional and not included with the CDLP certification. But let me tell you this, this is where the rubber meets the pavement. We have weekly coaching, a marketing platform that is both hard copy or digital, monthly newsletters, weekly educational articles. There is absolutely zero reason to reinvent the wheel. Again, it only takes execution on your part to succeed. Here's a look inside. Who you choose to work with really does matter. From actual experience working with divorcing homeowners to building your divorce mortgage planning practice. Our CDLP coaching program includes a couple of elite industry coaches, Jen Duplessis and Greg Gale. You have myself for the technical stuff and our other team members as well. Each coach you have has actually been an active originator and a CDLP working their own divorce mortgage planning practice. So they know what they're talking about. Nobody offers a more robust coaching program directly focused on the divorce market and nobody brings more experience and dedication to your success as the CDLP than our coaching team and our business management and marketing platform. While our marketing program can seem a bit overwhelming, it's very structured. Here's a high level view of what I'm talking about. Focused marketing. What I mean by that is there is marketing that focuses on either the attorney, the financial advisor, mediator, etc. You have to market specifically to their role with verbiage that correlates to that specific role. We have different mediums of collateral, infographics, newsletters, note cards, etc. We do have our own internal divorce focused CRM to help deliver the digital formats and weekly RSS feeds. You can present classes. We already have approved for continuing legal education for our attorneys or CE for the divorce financial professionals and mediators. Even how to handle the client consultation is different and structured. You cannot market to divorce professionals or divorcing homeowners with traditional marketing methods. They aren't interested in product, rate, or recipes. You have to remind them of the value you bring and constantly differentiate yourself from traditional mortgage professionals. So one last time, what value can you bring to the divorce team as a certified divorce lending professional? Knowledge, a different perspective, and a better solution. If you believe that building a strong divorce mortgage planning practice is a long-term solution to stabilizing a volatile pipeline or combating fluctuating interest rates in real estate markets while adding value and service to divorcing homeowners and divorce professionals, 
then I would like to invite you to become a certified divorce lending professional with the Divorce Lending Association. We have two learning platforms available for you. We have an e-learning platform that is completely self-paced and will take you approximately 18 hours to complete, including the final exam. The cost of the e-learning platform is $1,185. We also offer both live in-person and live virtual learning. This is the same content, obviously, as the e-learning, just a different spin on it because of the interaction. We also blend business building into the live learning so that once you've completed the education portion, you're already out of the starting blocks. The cost of the live program is $1635. There is an annual membership fee to the Divorce Lending Association of $297. Your membership includes many benefits, including the member directory, access to the private CDLP forum, weekly CDLP group coaching calls with our amazing coaches, divorce mortgage planning tools and resources, and more importantly, your continuing education going forward. Trust me, this is not a one and done program. Those types of programs are a failure to not only you, but the divorce team and the divorcing homeowners. Who you choose to work with really does matter. You can also add the CDLP business management and marketing platform once you've completed the certification process for $149 monthly. Please don't hesitate to reach out to our team with any questions. Register today and get started on your journey making a profound difference today as a certified divorce lending professional.